Welcome, class. Uh, today we are going to be doing something fun and entertaining that I think a lot of you are going to look forward to. We're going to be shooting archery in school. And before we can actually get to the aspect of shooting the equipment, we are going to go over some of the fundamentals that you have to learn prior to going down to the gymnasium and shooting the equipment. So just so you're aware, uh, some of you are nervous, shooting archery is fun, it's safe, um, and it's something that everyone can enjoy, but we have to follow certain procedures and we need to do it safely. So what I'd like to do first is figure out your eye dominance. In order to shoot the bow, you need to be shooting with a dominant eye. So a lot of you will want to shoot with your strong hand. You may want to shoot with your right hand or you may want to shoot with your left hand if you're right-handed or left-handed. But in archery, it's all about alignment and we want to make sure you're aligning your dominant eye down the string, down the arrow, to the target. So it may be uncomfortable at first. If you're right-handed and I tell you you're left eye dominant, you are going to try to shoot left-handed to utilize your left eye dominance. And uh, if that's uncomfortable, you know, we can, we can get to that eventually, but I would like you to try it. And if it's un totally uncomfortable, we can let you shoot right-handed, and I'll have to give you some tips or suggestions uh, to eliminate your left eye dominance. But for right now, we're going to teach you how to figure out if you are right eye dominant or left eye dominant. Many of, many of you have probably tried to do eye dominance in a variety of ways. Um, a lot of ways kids have been taught in the past is to point at an object with both eyes open. And when you point at an object with both eyes open, you then close your one of your eyes. So um, there is it does work, but it is a little confusing, especially for some of you who, when you point to an object, if you're staring at the object, you may see two fingers. Or if you're staring at the finger that you're point and you're pointing at an object and you're focused on your finger, you may see two of the objects that you're trying to focus on. And it can get very difficult. So to avoid this confusion, uh, we like to use a different method. And I'm going to show you the method. So I'm going to explain it to you first, and I'm going to have you stand up. Half of you will go to the right side of my classroom and half of you will go to the left side of the classroom, and you will face across from one another. But first, I want to explain how you do it. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is you're going to hold your hands out in front of you, and you're going to put your hands together, and you're going to make a very small window with your fingers and your thumbs kind of right through the little gap. And with that window, what I'm going to ask you to do is to bend your wrist backwards at a 90-degree angle, so you can look through that small little gap that you've put in your hands. Once you have that gap, I'm going to ask that you start with your hands down and your arms fully extended so there's no bend in your elbow. You're going to look through that gap and you should see the floor between your feet. Once you have your arms locked in and your wrist bent back and you're looking through that gap, you, I want you to look up at your partner's face and you're going to slowly, while looking at your partner's face, raise your arms without bending your elbow, and you're going to put your partner's face in that little window. Again, you're going to keep your arms straight, you're going to keep your wrists bent back, you're going to stare at your partner's face, and you will slowly, while looking at their face, raise your arm and put their face in that little window. When you do that, your partner will be able to see either your left eye or your right eye. And they will tell you it's this eye, which would be, when they're looking at you, it would be on the left side of your face, but for you it would be your right eye. Or they'll go like this, which would be, when they look at you, the right side, but for you it would be your left eye. So they'll tell you it's they see that eye or they see that eye. It will either be your right eye or your left eye, that you're looking at them through that little window. That would be your dominant eye. There are a couple things that might happen. When your partner goes to put your face in that window, you may see their nose first, and then slowly but surely, they will choose one of their eyes to see you with. Have them do it again. You should see their nose again. They will go back and forth, and then you should see either their right eye or their left eye. If it changed, if you see their nose and they go to their right, the second time you see their nose and it goes to the left, you may have to ask them to do it a third time. 
you may have to ask them to do it a few times, and then you're going to say, you know what, you're cross-eyed dominant, which is not uncommon, but the majority of the time you're choosing your right eye or you're choosing your left eye, and that's the eye they will start with. Okay, there's nothing wrong with being cross-eyed dominant. It's a common thing, um, but you just need to let them start with the eyeball that they're choosing the majority of the time. If your partner doesn't believe you when you say, hey, it's your right eye or it's their left eye, there is a way you can prove it to them. Have them make the little window, lock their arms, put your face in that window again, and then slowly bend their elbows, bringing that window back to their face while they're looking at you the whole time. And that window will actually line up over their dominant eye. In that case, I am left eye dominant. So now I would like half the class to stand up on this side and half the class to stand up on that side. Find your partners. The students on this side will start with making the windows in their hand and you'll be putting these students face in the window. You may begin. <laughs>